you're looking for a new medical molder, you should be looking for somebody that's got the horsepower and the facilities that can make the products that you're looking for. We're a class eight, 100,000 clean room facility. We classify ourselves as a relatively small injection molder with a lot of technical expertise. We're a high precision injection molder for the medical industry. Our goal is to sell the highest value product at a competitive price. When it comes to medical parts, we may not be the cheapest, but we're the best because we have the quality systems in place. We specialize in small, intricate parts. We mold parts that a lot of people don't want to mold. Uh, we go after difficult parts, engineered resins. Our clean room is a class eight, 100,000 clean room. Uh, we're 13485 certified. Our customers, many of them have that. They're also looking for their vendors to have that as well. That gives them a greater sense of comfort relative to our documentation and certification. The whole building is dedicated to medical molding. We have three all-electric machines in our clean room. We have two 110-ton tie barless ingle machines that were purpose-built for clean room facilities, and we have a small 35-ton Mitsubishi machine. Basically, these machines are tie barless, they're greaseless, and they enabled us to run parts uh, without contamination. The size of the part that the customer wants will dictate how big a molding machine it requires to make the part. Lower cavitation tools run smaller tonnage machines, higher cavitation runs higher tonnage machines. Also use uh, IQO, QPQ procedures. It allows them to document what they've done so when they are sitting down in front of the FDA, they put in front of the FDA what they've done to validate their product. Uh, we do get into pouching and kitting for customers. That's Tyvek bags that are designed for uh, radiation sterilization and or EO, ethylene oxide sterilization as well. Our clean room can be certified to even cleaner than class 100,000. As far as we know, it's the only one within 300 miles of where we're standing today. At Infinity Molding, we have a trusted reputation and our PPMs are stellar in the industry. And how we do that, adding automation, tooling expertise, processing knowledge. One of the ways we get to zero PPM is we utilize RJG technology. Uh, we can put a sensor in the mold and it measures from start to stop on that cavity pressure in the mold as the injection pressure hits the cavity of the tool. What the technology does is it integrates the, the pressure over time. It gives you an integral of, of uh, the amount of fill in the mold and when it hits that amount with high and low limits, it guarantees that you've got good parts coming out of the mold. We minimize human error going into that product. We run into a lot of, of clients and potential clients that come to us and say, we want clean room parts, but we don't want to run them in a clean room. They say that because they don't want to pay the expense for running a clean room. The clean room, in all actuality, is not a god-awful expense on top of what a traditional molding machine would cost to run, uh, but it does ensure that you don't have dust and dirt and grime on your parts, which can get really expensive relative to field failures. The best way to control the cost of a product is to partner with somebody early on and let them help you drive cost out of the product. It may be possible to modify it so that the mold can be cheaper to be built and the cycle time can be lower so that it would be a more economical part. We try to steer them away from things that make bad molded parts, steer them to things that make a better part for them and in turn a better device for them. Because when that part goes into production, we want to make sure that that part runs seamlessly. You won't find this technical expertise at anywhere else at a company our size. Against other molders, I'd rank this as a 10. I mean, it's, it's as clean as anything in the Midwest. The machines are the, the top-notch quality, the top-notch technology. We have, we have the best that you can have. I've been here 17 years this year. Multiple people in the company that have 30 plus years in our industry. So we've seen a lot of things, we remember a lot of things, we've learned a lot of hard lessons that we don't repeat anymore. A lot of our customers that we get in the medical field, they come to us because they have a quality issue or a problem. They cannot get the parts that they need. So they call on us to develop the product with them and work out the kinks so that we can get that part running in production. We make parts for stents, catheter ablation, parts for chest drains, blood analyzers, wound care, and also for CPAP machines. The sweet spot for us on the medical side is probably something between 10 or 15,000 pieces a year and a half a million pieces a year. We certainly can go higher. If you come and visit us, you'll see what we're talking about. There's parts that just not everybody would want to take on. 
because they're difficult. We not only make the disposables, but we make the durable products. Yeah, the materials that come in are medical grade materials that are specifically designed for medical products. There's different registrations and certifications that go with those, and those are what we run in the clean room. We do probably 70 different materials. On medical devices, uh, a lot of times you'll want a soft feel or a soft touch. Here's a part where we're molding the bottom component and we're putting this into another mold and over molding this soft touch. Oh, I love so many things about working here. I like that it's a small company and we can get a lot of things done. I love that we have Midwestern values. We care about our customers. We care about our vendors. Many of our customers have been with us 20 years. If you come visit us, you will be thoroughly impressed with what you see. And when you sit down with our team, you'll walk away knowing that we have the understanding of what it takes to make your product and make it right.